York City at the Big Apple Barbecue, and we're sampling the best barbecue from all over the country from award-winning pitmasters. So come on, let's go eat. from U Bonds, and we're here for a second year in a row. Yes. Well, you know, I know that your entire company's a family affair. Even I have a grandson that's involved, yeah. and if we don't pass this kind of thing on to our next generation, then it'll die. Right. And so this is, uh, uh, this is just a way of continuing this great tradition of things, carrying it on and on. Our barbecue sauce is five generations old, yes. and we have a barbecue Bloody Mary. It's actually made with a, a little bit of the barbecue mm -hmm. sauce, and it's just a, a perfect every time you pour. It's no MSG, it's gluten free. And look what we're working with. We're working with tomato. Tomato, lycopene, vitamins. It's amazing. All, all it's a the good stuff. It's a healthy drink. It's a healthy drink. It's breakfast in a cup. That's it. You know that your sauces should be an enhancement and yes. not a cover up. Yes. And so I'm going to pour some of this in. I'm being fed. With a sauce that. It's a, a real enhancement. It mm. brings it over the top. Mm. Oh, now here is a whole bunch. You can see what Look this looks that. like. That's this beautiful. is right off here. Is that the color's right? This is how we uh, test <gasps> that. This is our thermometer. We <laughs> test that. If it pulls out, it's done. Right. And this is why you enjoy it with all of your senses. Your sight from that pretty clay on the shoulder. Yes. Your smell, the aroma coming from it. And yes. then last, your taste. We will serve this okay. on a bun. Okay. We will put coleslaw on there. Great. And it and pour the sauce on mm -hmm. and it will be it'll be a sandwich that will just melt in your mouth. Perfect. This is gonna be my last meal on death row, I'll tell you right now. <laughs> well, I hope that, that don't happen. I don't but if you will call me, I'll fix you one. <laughs> Thank you. That is fantastic. Just don't make that happen. One more oh my bite goodness, on that. One more. Scott Roberts from yes. Texas, from Salt Lake. Yes. Thank you so much for the interview today. Oh, it's our pleasure. Our we pleasure. have heard so much about you. You are the talk of the town this year. Oh, I can't believe that. Yes, it's very, very you're just true. just flattering me. No, not at all. And you know, we, you're known for your open pit barbecue. Mm -hmm. Can you just tell us a little bit about that? We do the searing and the slow smoking under big closed pits, but at the end, we bring it back out, put it on the open pit, put the barbecue sauce on it, it caramelizes on the outside, and that's what gives us a unique flavor. That's amazing. The other thing that happens is some of the juices fall down and hit the coals, flare back up. And that's another flavor. It's a different smoke. You're making a fire and the smoke work for yeah. you. Your family does have a long history with this. Yes. Um, uh, my family started coming to Texas actually in 1830. One group did. And then the rest came in the 1870s, 1880s. Mm -hmm. And so those recipes kept getting handed down from generation to generation. And you're also very well known for your brisket. So what's yes. the technique with that? Well, the brisket is seasoned with a dry rub, mm -hmm. seared, and then slow cooked 18 to 20 hours wow. at our low temperature and then brought out and finished over the pit. And you know, that's our secret. And the real secret is you got to start with quality meat. So we only use choice and above. This barbecue sauce originated in the Southeast. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and every generation tweaks it a little bit. And uh, my mother found a way to emulsify it. Oh, really? So it stays suspended more like a salad dressing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Thank now, you. That's the regular. Okay, and what are the, um, I mean, you don't have to give me the secret ingredients, but just a little bit of the flavor profile. Oh, there's 32 different things in it. Wow. But the major base is uh, sugar, vinegar, mustard. So my mother, she learned how to uh, emulsify it so it doesn't separate. Mm -hmm. And then the other tweak that she gave to it is she put powdered ginger in it. Wow. Thank you so much for having yeah, us. I hope you like it. We are here with Michael Mills today from 17th Street Barbecue, here from Illinois. Illinois, Southern Illinois. Southern Illinois makes a big difference. Yes, it does. We're 350 miles south of Chicago. Oh, the southern tip of Illinois, right? So that's where we're going to do some barbecue. And you are one of the founders of the event as well. I am. This is the 13th year that this has been going, and I was in on the original one. Such long. a great idea. Because there was always a question, can you cook barbecue? in New York City, and yes, you can. Yes, you can. And we're showing everyone that it can be done. And thank goodness, because I'm reaping all of the benefits yeah. today. So what are you showing today? What are you? We're doing ribs. Oh, great. We have baby back ribs and oh, our good. baked beans. The smell is just amazing, the aroma. Of this what they're amazing. doing over here on this next bit next to us, they're saucing the ribs. Mm -hmm. They get two coats, 
and then they uh, dry rub and put it on top of that. Okay. And what you do to tell when they're done, yeah. it's not by temperature, it's by feet. Ooh. What you'll see here, okay. see how that's one of the bend? Yes. It's ready to go. Really speaking, you have to cut them with a knife. Mm -hmm. They're not ready. Oh, I see. Okay, so you but, just feel you the see bend. That all, you can feel it. You can feel that. Okay. The, you know, one of, the, one of these ribs right here. You just see how that just pulls apart. Wow. But that will be just absolutely it's very warm. But you see how mm. that sticks to the bone? You take your mouth full, just mm -hmm. right off of that. So I am here with Michael Mills, and he just showed us some great stuff. Thank you so much for everything today. What a pleasure to have you here. We're here with Jimmy Higa from Black Jack Barbecue, and we're at the Big Apple Barbecue this year, and we're so happy to see you again. Now, what do you think of New York City barbecue? Have you had a chance to sample some? I've tried a little bit of it. Certainly, there's been some influences that have come up from the south here. But you know about barbecue, if you cook it low and slow for 12 or 13 or 14 hours, I don't care what part of the country you're in, it's going to be good. Yeah. And so the fact that New York has finally caught on, and it's not hot dogs and hamburgers anymore, that we've got southern barbecue up here, that's a, that's a beautiful thing. It really is. Because a city girl like me who loves barbecue, where does she have, you know, where does she go? She goes to an event like this once a year. I'm so happy that y'all come up here to take care of us like this once yeah. a year. No, it's fun. We are here to uh, enjoy ourselves, but maybe teach other people, you know, how we do it from where we come from. But there's a commonality, there's a brotherhood. That's great. And what is your what is your uh, meal today that you've come so up with? So we're doing a here? pulled pork sandwich great. with coleslaw. Smash it together. Look at that. Look at that. And you know, I'll tell you something. Jimmy, did you know that I'm a registered dietitian? I did know that. Yeah, and registered dietitians will probably say, don't eat this, but I say eat it because it's very good for you. It's a feast day. It's a feast day. And it's protein, high in protein. And look at the coleslaw. Cruciferous vegetables, anti-cancer fighting properties. There you go. What do you have to lose? This is awesome. Can I try some? Can Please I? Please do. Really? Okay, okay. Oh, that's fantastic. Well, thank you so yeah. much this year for having us thank again. Thank you very much. Delicious, delicious food. Thank you, Jimmy. All right. Thanks. Y'all enjoy. We're here with Mike Emerson from Happy Smokehouse. Thank you so much for seeing Always us again. Always a pleasure to see you again. Yeah, you know, I was saying, you know, with all of the smoke going on here, we're smoked as well. Smoke Aren't Fiorella. We? Smoke yeah. Fiorella is right. <laughs> yes. So we're looking at your beautiful ribs here today. They're just outstanding. Thank you very much. We're serving uh, baby back ribs, and we uh, cooked about 2,000 slabs since about midnight last night. Oh, so my goodness. We've been busy. We don't want anybody in New York to go hungry. Now. That's great. Now, what do you think of New York City barbecue? I know I know it's a mixture of everything from the south, of course, but have you tried What I would it? say is that in the last 10 years, like anything with a New Yorker, you guys are so adaptable and you learn very, very well. There's some absolutely fantastic places up here, you know. Big Billy over there at oh, uh, yeah. Hometown and yes. uh, the boys at Blue Smoke, Boys. Dinosaur. I Dinosaur mean, too, yes. Got some, uh, they do great. a good job, huh? Very, very good job. That's yeah. really great. Billy Durney could be, he's my hero. <laughs> Whoa, I bet you you're his hero. Are you kidding? Yeah, absolutely. And you are award winning. Well, thank you. And you have a long history with your barbecue. Well, well. you know, I, I, I tell everybody this is an eight-year-old barbecue joint with a hundred years of barbecue experience. So we've yeah. been doing it for a long, long time. And I wish you the best of luck and a hundred more years. Thank you, and I hope we get to spend a few of them with you every year. Yes, please. Thank you so much. I appreciate pleasure. it. Hi, we're here with Chris Lilly from Big Bob Gibson, and we here from our family. Okay, so what are you serving today? We're doing uh, pulled pork shoulder. Yes. Which actually the butt end, so pulled pork butt. Okay. We're doing just today 280 whole pulled pork butts. Oh, wow. Do another 280 to 300 tomorrow. tomorrow. We're talking 5,000 pounds of pork. Wow, that's a lot of pork. And we heard about this white barbecue sauce. We've been hearing about it all day long. Could you tell us more about that? It's a it's a sauce that Big Bob Gibson came up with in 1925. It does oh. two things. It's a tangy, peppery flavor with the vinegar and the black pepper. It also has mayonnaise in it. That turns it white. But what that does is that protects the chicken from drying out 
during the long cooking process. What do you think about the event today? Love the event today. Isn't uh, it great? You know, there's so many people out here, and the weather's absolutely beautiful. And the thing about the Big Apple Barbecue Block Party is everybody's happy. They are so appreciative that we take the time to come up here and serve barbecue on Madison Avenue, and that's the reason I keep coming back. It's the people up here in New York City. Uh, yeah, it's, it's a thrill for me. We are so happy for you to come once a year because we wait for your barbecue to come out. I'll make it 14 years in a row next year. Oh my goodness, that's fantastic. <laughs> Best of luck to you. Thank, Thank you very you much. so Thank you. much. Apple Barbecue with Danny Meyer. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Great, and the blue smoke, we love it. Huge fans. What do you have going on today? Uh, today we've got some amazing pork ribs. Amazing. What do you think about this energy today for this event? Well, the first energy you got to look at is the sun, and whenever the sun is shining on barbecue, you got a good scene. That's it. It's a big party. The crowd is lively. Everyone's here ready for ribs yeah. and cooking. And I was asking everyone and all the pitmasters of well, but what they think about New York City barbecue, you know? And I said, you know, who better to ask than you? What do you think's going on here with the New York City well, barbecue Well, New York's scene? been uh, playing the barbecue game now for a good I don't know, a little over a decade. Yeah. Blue Smoke opened in 2002, and we didn't really have a barbecue tradition here in the city, so we decided to bring one in via the Big Apple Barbecue Block Party. And I think that it's one of the greatest annual events in the city. The first people didn't quite know what to make of it. Guys walking around Madison Square Park with whole hogs hanging over their That's shoulders. True. Yeah. It looks a little bit weird, but it's now a great tradition, and I would say that. New York has spawned some of the best barbecue restaurants in the country. I agree. And the other we got one of them right here, a hometown barbecue is awesome. Do you love that? That's I great. Love it. I love Blue Smoke. I love Blue Smoke. I, I just didn't want to be self No, 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 I'll do it because I love it. I'm a huge fan. And the event is great. I know that you're one of the founders and I think it's amazing. I was talking to Michael Mills as well before. His barbecue Mike is amazing. Was, um, we call Mike our rib rabbi. Oh. You know, that's <laughs> Mike's the one that taught us. Uh, right Everywhere. in the first place, at the very beginning. Oh, that's so great. And well, I really thank you for talking to us My today. Pleasure. I really All appreciate right. it. Thank you Thanks so much. You. guys, we just finished eating the best barbecue from all around the country, and this is our second year leaving with a belly full of barbecue. We'll see you next year.